Okay, Mr. Ryan. And Mr. Torres. I'm going to show you a little about what I'm doing here. Uh, I mentioned to both of you these uh, these connectors. They're called power poles. They're used by um, many people, but in particular, they're used by Aries Amateur Radio Emergency Services. This is their official uh, way to get 12 volts to various things, radios and stuff. So um, I was just going to show you how these work. Um, basically, they're made to accept pins, and I'll show you that in a second, but um, they mate like that, red and black, positive and negative, go together real easy. And uh, then I got this, uh, now this is made by a different company than the people that make the power poles, but th they use them in a lot of their their equipment, so they made this for themselves, but they sell them. And this gives you a, a neat little way to mount these. So there's the power pole added to this, it's called a power pole gripper, power pole gripper. and then it's made out of out of PVC and then you can screw it down and that will enable you to um, have convenient 12 volt power okay so uh, when you buy these these um, grippers they come with an installation tool what that allows you to do is you put the the gripper into the tool screw holes facing down then you take the the power pole and you put it plugs down into this and this is a tight fit it's CNC machined so it's a tight fit so you have to jam it in there and this will get it to the exact depth that's what this little jig is for. So, four wax or so. And then you just clean off some of the plastic that comes out. And now you got a neat little gizmo. You can um, hook the wires on. I'll show you how the wires go on. Basically, you have. Uh, I'm using zip cord. Use any any wire you want. And this is 18 gauge. And the power poles come in 15 amp, 30 amp, or 45 amp versions. Uh, the pins get bigger. These are 15 amp. Okay, so I get my strippers. I strip off like uh, three eighths of an inch or something like that, maybe, maybe a little more. And it's not real critical. I'll wind them up a little. Okay, I got one of them too long, so I'm going to cut that. And this is the uh, crimper. This is standard crimper, but there actually are crimpers made just for these. And I have the jaws. I already had the crimper for for uh, crimping stuff like coax. Definitely want to have a uh, coax making equipment. So I got the pin in there take the wire, push it in there, and exert the enormous pressure my hands are able to deliver. It's quite extraordinary for a man my age. 
and then you gotta kind of pull this out. I've been using the pliers. Of course, when you put them on, you want them to be facing the same direction because when you put them into the the gripper, they have to go in the same way, oriented the same way. And this isn't critical either, I mean, it's just a crimp. Those are, those are, those are better than soldered and crimped. They're, I mean, they're not coming out of there. That wire will break before that happens. And then, you just take the, you just take the power pole body, and there's already a metal piece in there, so these pieces are going to snap in there. Get it oriented correctly. Bent that a little bit when I took it out. That's better. And uh, when you put them in right, they snap so you know they're in there. Well, that's only if you put them in right side up. There we go. There. I don't know if you can hear that. You'd be able to hear it if you were me. And then they're both in, and now they're ready to use. And they're non-gender specific, so they plug in. Is no, is now the red and the black you want on the right side, but really they'll plug into anything that's the same size. So there you are. Those are the power poles inside the power pole grippers, and I'm using them for my two meter. I have a different, I use the power poles on my uh, my HF radio, but um, they're thicker, so I use the, the bigger ones, the 30 amp. I have uh, two other, three other things here that I get 12 volts to just for the lamps, the two meters, the watt meter on the tuner, and the standalone watt SWR meter, my two meter radio. And there's a couple other things like my antenna analyzer that use 12 volts. So uh, now I'm going to show you the what I'm doing over here with the ground. This is my update to my ground situation. It was kind of messy, so what I've done is taken a 16 inch by 4 inch by quarter inch plate and attach that to the bench and that's where my grounds are now screwed down to and it came drilled uh, with the various holes um, it's about a half inch hole, a quarter inch hole there's two rows of each and then I have my AC right underneath that that's got 12 plugs in it, I got that at Harbor Freight here's my ground going outside to the ground rods. I'm also going to put a ground rod right here, right underneath that copper ground rod. So uh, just some things I'm doing to make uh, make this work a little better for me. A little neater. Have the power where I need it. Okay, that's all for now.